Aloha, this is Tim. I'm here for a quick video on how to create a time lapse video using Final Cut 10 with the source material being still photography. In the past, I've always done video uh, time lapses because they're so much easier to, uh, I think, get a clean thing, but uh, it doesn't necessarily it's not necessarily the best tool at the end of the day for all types of, uh, of time lapses so you're trying to time lapse a week's worth of uh, of time video is not gonna be a good solution because you're gonna have problems with file sizes battery power and all those different things that make photography a much better tool so without further ado let me just jump in the Final Cut 10 and show you how this is done it's pretty simple I just want to show you the workflow that worked that works for me at least. So first step is actually getting your photos inside of the program. So what I did is I did a time lapse using, uh, I did time lapse using uh, the GoPro 2 at half second intervals and I probably have around 200 to 300 photos. You're gonna go into file, import, import files. You're gonna find your GoPro uh, or in whatever camera SD card you have and I'm gonna drill down here uh, into DCIM 100 GoPro and find the JPEGs. So you can see the JPEGs here, and they are in backwards order. So I'm going to reorder those and just import them from start to finish, around, around 300 photos or so. Uh, I'm going to avoid the MP4 since those are irrelevant, and just go down, find all the JPEGs. And they're about 2 megs a piece. 319 is the last one. I'm going to create a new event, uh, time lapse, so TL... Uh, test. So we got that created now. Uh, we're going to copy them to the folder and not worry about anything else there. Just hit import. And now what it's going to be doing is just simply processing those files for import. It created this new event down at the left here, TL test. And after this, we're going to very quickly uh, show you how you actually make your time lapse. It's a uh, Pretty simple and pretty awesome. So the photos are now imported, and you can see a couple different things on the screen here. First, you can see the selected photo and what it looks like. This is not going to be the best time lapse. I just kind of turned the camera on to just quickly put this together here. So I'm going to start with the number 56 here. And you can see already that Final Cut 10 will actually turn photos into kind of video type. Uh, of uh, media. So you can see each of these has a duration of 10 seconds already. So each half, half second interval uh, clip here, each image, has an interval of 10 seconds. So each has 10 seconds and what we're going to do is turn those uh, images into a single a unified uh, video. So or uh, I guess compound video is what you want to call it. So we're going to control click here and create what we call a compound clip. So compound clip combines all of these images into a single clip that we call C. So those 319 photos, however many there are, is now combined into C. And we're going to add that to a new project. Uh, I'm going to start here uh, to just show you how this works. So I'm going to open up this and create a new project. We're going to call it test, and we're going to open this. So to create this time lapse using photography, you just create a compound clip. You add it to your timeline. So let me hit E to add that to the timeline. And right now, we've got a duration of, I believe, yeah, 44 minutes. So that's really long. We're going to want to change that. So instead of 44 minutes total, we're going to time lapse that by just retiming the video speed. So we're going to retime this video speed down to, uh, see, let's do 30 seconds uh, or 20 seconds. So to do this, it's very simple. Just as, as you would do in video retiming, you hit Command R, and then you can see this green bar here. You're able to retime it fast. Let's just do 20x, and that brings it down to two minutes. And then another cool thing you can do to get it even faster is you can just drag these handles here. So we're going to drag the handles down to a good 15 seconds. So we're now speeding it up to, you know, a uh, very, very high percentage. And this uh, will then render the video. Renders, you will have your time lapse video. So the cool thing is, even though it's not. Um, even though the but I was able to create that compound clip and create the time lapse 
without Final Cut having imported all the media. So that's a cool thing to just know that you're able to do all this even if the media is not imported, uh, which it's amazing they are able to do that. So uh, we're, we're going to let this render, and I'll be back to show you the finished product. So we are back, and it's finished rendering, and I'm just going to show you what the finished product looks like as a, as a, as a uh, time lapse. So here we go. As you can see, uh, it's not exactly fluid with me walking around, but most time lapses, that's not what it's for. And as you can see here in the video, uh, this isn't really the best thing to time lapse since there's not really anything going on. So if you're going to do this, uh, do it for something that actually matters. So um, <laughs> uh, besides just this quick demo. So that's how you do it. You create a compound clip, you retime it, and that's it. Very simple in Final Cut 10. And I hope this video has helped you uh, learn how to time lapse. Uh, so aloha. I'll talk to you guys again later.